It is 4.30 in the morning, it is freezing cold. I'm suffering, let's go home. I am having a very copious meal here in Gornegrad because tonight I have a very important mission to be accomplished. Today I'm on my way to Stockholm, 3,532 meters, right in front of Monte Rosa and above Zermatt, because I want to accomplish several challenges. When I first came to Switzerland back in 1986, as a tourist, obviously, with my parents, my sister, I remember we were visiting the Zermatt region, we were admiring the Matterhorn, we were taking the Rack Railway to Gornegrad, and we were trying to get the Stockholm summit. We didn't get the summit. <laughs> After 25 years of loyal services, my summer mountain boot is broken. <laughs> and I am at 3,400 meters of altitude. In the middle of nowhere, nobody around, so I'm gonna try to fix it. Otherwise, it's gonna be a nightmare. Yeah. It seems that it's quite solid, so let's see. <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> At that time I was 20 and the Stockholm was reasonably easy to climb for us and it had the added value of being slightly higher of the highest peaks in the Pyrenees. The Stockholm is right behind me, so last effort and done for the second time. Four years ago, I did the solo summit Stockhorn. I took some uh, shots with my mobile phone, but I didn't film it. And this time I want to film it for my parents because they are getting a bit too old to try to make the ascent. And right before the sunset over Monte Rosa, la 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 la. Stockhorn! Stockholm Grutzi! So, first challenge today is done. Filming the ascent to the Stockholm in order to show it to my parents. As this is gonna be very difficult to sleep here because there is no even one square meter flat. I think I'm gonna go down there where is the snow in order to find a flat surface to be in heaven. Second challenge was admiring Monte Rosa sunset from Stockholm summit. La sunrise here at the Monte Rosa and it's getting pinky 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 pinky. <laughs> Monte Rosa is really getting pink. Amazing. I'm gonna sleep like a kid. Every single one dying of hit, but me. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
What a show. I always heard it is called Monte Rosa because at sunset the eternal snow become pink. It's a matter of seconds. It was white and then little pink and then all of a sudden pink. I am so happy. That was the second challenge. Spend the night here in the snow at 3,500 meters and really enjoy the sunset because I saw many postcards and pictures about it. But one thing is looking at a picture and a very different thing is living it live. Good night, I'll talk to you tomorrow. It is 4.30 in the morning, it is freezing cold. Weather forecast announced at positive four Celsius, which is not the case because my sleeping bag, my backpack, everything is frozen. I took a really light one. I'm suffering, let's go home. Six in the morning, everything all right, almost at the Gorograd. It was a great adventure, but two conclusions. First conclusion, you got to listen to signs that the universe, the cosmos is sending to you. Yesterday, seven in the morning, before leaving home, I went down to the garage to take some gear with me and then my key slipper inside the elevator cage. Oh my God, uh, I was with my pajama, <laughs> no mobile phone, and obviously my house was locked. Then I saw the number, then I went to the closest hotel, LVC Hotel, and a great, great thanks to Costas, the great concierge there. They sent me a guide, and after one hour, I could pack and come. So first sign of the universe, maybe today is not your right day. Second one, remember yesterday when I was about 3,350, my summer boot exploded. <laughs> After 25 years of loyal services, exploded. And I had no rope, I had no way to fix it. So I had to do it in my own way, at least to continue. And I say to myself, shall I continue or shall I go back? I say, no, no, try it. I don't regret it. It was a great adventure. It was a nice show to see this Monte Rosa getting really pink, pink as a pink rose, and uh, it was great. But then I went to bed, and because I didn't drink so much, I had these cramps in my legs, painful, unbearable. I have to make massage myself. It was one in the morning again, making massage, getting out of my sleeping bag, kind of nightmare. And then at three, I woke up like driving so much because I took a really light gear. I really like a sleeping bag. Second conclusion: you don't have to underestimate the mountains because you never know, especially if you go by yourself. I saw a weather forecast talking about this Stockholm, who is a small peak in the middle of nowhere, saying minimum temperature is going to be positive 4 Celsius. You say, okay, I'll take the summer one, it's going to be more than enough. No, because it was all frozen. I think we reached 4, but minus Celsius 4. And then for 45 minutes, I was trembling and really trying to fight to warm up my body. Another 45 minutes, like doubting, I'm going to say, it is 4.30 in the morning. You know what, take your uh, lamp and go down because it doesn't make any sense, suffering that way. So these are my two conclusions, especially if you go to the mountain by yourself. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to Sermat and then go home because it's more than enough for this weekend. Take care. If you like my videos, consider subscribing. Like every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Central European time, a brand new video for you. And now I'm gonna leave you with the, the best postal card. You cannot even imagine the, the first race touching the eternal snows. Take it easy, see you soon, bye-bye.